didn't you have like an interview like 10 minutes ago or eight minutes ago or something? Uh, no, about six minutes from now. From now. Okay. Yep. And by the way, um, this virtual assistant may not even show up. Review proposals. Okay. And look, they have a couple people that have applied. Okay. Jan Michael and Orlando. Okay. So well, okay. Orlando, he looks like he might be a real okay. good dude to have on the game. Um, so I can start a conversation with these guys, uh, but Upwork will start sending me these these emails. Okay, so it kind of helps me pick someone. Uh, she's from Kingston, Jamaica. We're about to interview her if she arrives here. Um, you know, all this information about her is, is here I can look at. She's made over five grand on here, worked almost a thousand hours. Um, am I sharing? I'm not, am I? Okay, so here we go. Yeah, so you see. Here's Tashana. She's got all kinds of experiences. Okay. 5K earnings, 28 total jobs, 1,000 hours. Okay, here she is. She's trying to get into the Zoom room. Okay. All right. So let me uh, let me get my interview questions up. Okay. I've got interview questions. You guys remember? Um, okay. You guys want to keep your cameras on? <laughs> all right. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, is this Tashana? Yes, this is she. Hey, thank you for joining in here for our interview. Um, sorry, it looks different than normal. Uh, there's a lot of us here. Um, mm -hmm. And it said that we're live streaming, which we, we are, but that's only to our private business. Okay, so we're not we're not in anywhere publicly. Okay, so just just so you know, it's just we have a large company. And uh, we're just we all work together. We're very tight knit. And we happen to be in a meeting. This is a virtual assistant position that could benefit all of us, perhaps. And so mm -hmm. Um, I just said, hey, everybody hang around and let's talk to her together. Is that okay if we just take 10 minutes here, Tashana? You got 10 minutes? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Hey, w do you have a camera? Could we see you? Okay, so I currently have my baby. Okay, right okay. Me, so that's the reason why I didn't turn the camera on. She's okay. Today. Okay, no problem, no problem. Hey, I was looking at your, your resume and your, your background, your history on Upwork, and I'm pretty impressed. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your job experience? What what are the jobs that you've had and the ones you like the most? Okay, so with Upwork and outside of Upwork, I have um, a few experiences, right? So what I did is I combined all of them together. So mm -hmm. I am experienced with outbound and inbound sales and customer service as well. I've had a few companies that I've worked for part-time that I've done logistics and appointment setting with it through um, chat medium or email or as well as phone calls. Now, this also goes around the aspects of I had to do data entry with accounts and billing and insurance as well as real estate. Okay, so you've got quite a bit of administrative and customer interface experience, yes, it sounds like. Um, I, I, I've noticed that and I was, I'm was i impressed by that. So I'm glad that you wanted to talk to me today. Uh, how, we, we really have the same scenario going here. We have leads and they're, they're saying yes, but what we want to do is we want to have someone like yourself make make phone calls to them, um, which they're they're open to, and then read a script that we have. And really, the script is pretty simple. Um, and it's not a sales thing either. If they say, yeah, that sounds great or no, that's not what I'm interested in. You did your job. Does that make sense? Yes. Does that sound like something that you've done in the past? Yes, I have. I have done that before. OK. Quite often, actually. Okay, great. Um, how many hours a day do you have to work and what days? Well, I am available right through Monday to Friday sometimes. I would like to work on Saturdays as well. But what I do on Saturdays is um, because I do my errands, go to the supermarket, I only can do like, you know, half a day for a Saturday. But I'm available right through. Okay. Um, unfortunately, to, to start, we only need about an hour a day, five days a week. Is that something that you could do? How many hours you said? I didn't hear. Yeah, just just one solid hour a day, five days a week for the first couple weeks, maybe a month. Mm -hmm. And then we want to, you know, kind of like a probationary period mm -hmm. where you get to see if you like us and we get to see if we like you. And, mm -hmm. you know, and then if it, if it is a success uh, for both of us, then we can increase hours and maybe even increase the pay again, too. Does that yeah, sound that, like? Yeah, that's it's, it's pretty understandable. Yeah, I, I have no issues with that. Okay. Okay. Great. I, I, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, well, what happened to the other jobs you've had? Do you have any uh, great experiences? Any of those guys uh, be willing to give you a good reference? Okay. So my references that I mostly stick with are the ones that I physically assisted with here um, in Jamaica. Okay. Because um, when we work with the clients on Upwork, we don't directly work with them. 
uh, for some of them. We, yep. They just um, train us, give us the work, and then that is it. So they okay. wouldn't really have much to say about us, really, because they okay. wouldn't get to know us. All right. I understand. Um, okay. So if I did ask for references, you do have some local Jamaican references? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, great. Um, all right. Um, if we wanted the work done before 11 a.m. Eastern time, that one hour, let's say, for example, could you do it every day, for example, from 10 to 11? 10 to 11 Eastern, yes. Um, is You're not involved in any other work at that time? No. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, because I, I do need your 100% focus during that time. Is that going to be okay? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. If I had the script pulled up right now, could you just read it to me? Would you be willing to do that? Yes, I can. Okay. I don't need you to try to be professional with it or anything. Um, I just I just want to hear you ask a few questions, okay? And I, and I know you've never seen this before. You've never, you know, this is not a performance by any, any stretch of the imagination. I just want to hear you talk a little from a script, for example, okay? So we ultimately want you to get the following information from the sellers. Their motivation to sell, how they're looking to sell the property, so on and so forth. Okay, so here's where the script starts. All right, and you may reach the voicemail. So let's just leave a voicemail. Okay, so mm -hmm. could you just read this to me and put your name here in the blank? Hi, my name is Tashana, uh, and then just say one, two, three, Main Street or something here. Is that is that okay? Mm -hmm. Can you can you do that? Yes, I can. Okay, anytime you're ready. Okay. Hi, my name is Tashana. We saw your house for sale on the internet at 123 Main Street. We are interested in buying a home in the area and wanted to see if you could consider an offer for your property today. I completely understand if you have sold it already, but if you if you would give me a call back either way, that that way I could keep uh that way I don't keep bugging you. My name is Tashana. My number is 123 456 789. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good enough. Yeah, that was about as close to perfect as you can get from the very get go. Okay, so good job. Good job, Tashana. Good. Thank you. Um, just a little, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll put you on the spot there. <laughs> that make you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> well, um, okay, like I said, if I want to hire you on a 30 day trial, uh, can we do that? I pay 10 bucks an hour. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay for me. Okay. For, for that hour a day. And then after, let's say after the first 30 days, we can, we can revisit that and maybe add some more hours and maybe add some more pay too. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Um, you are open to more pay and more responsibilities, right? More time? Yes. Okay, great. Well, Tashana, uh, does anybody else have any questions for Tashana in here? I'm sorry, guys. I just went, I just forged ahead. Anybody with any questions for Tashana? She's been very kind with her time here. I yeah. say, um, internet stability, speeds. There you go. Um, blackouts, power shortages. Okay, so what kind of internet are you working from? An internet cafe, or do you have internet in your house? Okay, so for my internet, I have direct uh, access to the Wi-Fi. I use my Ethernet cord. Where it, it's um in regards to light blackouts or power outages, it doesn't it doesn't happen quite often here in my area. I hardly have an issue with that. Are you up there in Red Hills? <laughs> no, I'm not in Red Hills. I'm on okay. the deck. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That's a good question. Um, phone. Um, would you like us to provide a phone system for calling or do you have something in place already that you prefer? No, I don't have a calling okay. system. So if you would provide one, that would be okay. good. Okay. Okay. No problem. Is, are you familiar with Skype? Yes. Is I that, is that, is that easy account. enough to use or is that complicated yes. for you? It's very easy to use for me. Okay. Great. Great, because we can buy a local number from there for you and uh, and and let you have control of that for sure. Uh, any other questions, guys, that I might be forgetting or not thinking of? Hi, right, Tashana. Thanks so much for your time today. Um, I was hoping I could ask you, uh, do you have any other commitments that you have uh, throughout the day or the week at this time? No. Okay. So the sky's the limit with Tashana, everybody. That's what she's saying. <laughs> yes. is, that, is that right, Tashana? Yes, pretty oh. much. Okay, great. That's good. How many news. hours would you like to work a week? Um, well, I'm a person that I'm always on full time hours, so full time for me is pretty well. But like um he said before, we're just gonna do a trial period, you know, impress you guys, do my best, and in that way, you guys can bump up the hours, etc. I Excellent. think I think that's gonna happen too. Um, any other questions? Good questions. Good questions. That's why you guys are here because you know I'm, whew, you know, every now and then. 
So you've got a beautiful baby there, I, I heard. And uh, so what would be your maximum hours allowed per week? What would you like? Uh, what, what's a perfect uh, amount for you each week? Perfect. Like I said before, I'm a person for full-time hours and she's not, oh. a, she's not a daughter at all. 40 hours then? Yes. Okay. Any, any, any issue with working Saturdays and Sundays? No. Thank you. All I right. Have, I have a question for Tashana. Hi, Tashana. Oh, okay, Sandra. Sure. I, um, so where, um, I just want to just um, confirm. So where you would be working, the setting, it's not like loud or anything like that, right? No, it's not. No, I okay. Have, like, there's not like a lot of distraction or anything like that. Yes, that's correct. No distractions. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, Tashana, we'll, we're going to talk about it a little bit. We have one other candidate we're interviewing today too, and then I'll, I'll email you the, the decision that we come to. Is that okay? Yes, that's if okay. I, if I message you on Upwork, is that is that okay? All right. Yes. All right, Tashana, thank you for your time, and you have a good day, and take care of that baby, all right? Stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, guys, as well. Have a thank good day. Thank you, Tashana. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, okay, not too bad, huh? Not too hard. The, oh, pretty uh, solid. I kind of went through the questions a little bit out of order if you're going through the questions with me, but we got them all. We got them all. And then you guys pitched in and added in a couple other real relevant, a few a few real relevant questions. So, so th thank you for doing that. We'll have another shot at doing this in about 20 minutes when another guy shows up. And uh, does anybody want to hire Tashana right now? What's your, what's your impression? Let's talk about impressions. I think she sounded real professional, you know, uh, she spoke English real good, you know, like you would want. And she sounded like she has her area like in control where she has the space and the quietness to do what she needs to do. Yep. Yep. I think so too. I, I, I my initial impression is pretty good. Yeah, she has a good speaking voice. For, for, for those that have hired VAs before, it's, um, you, you, you kind of need like, <clears throat> I didn't realize that you were going to offer one hour a week you know it's hard for me to wrap my mind around that anybody would want to work one hour a week <laughs> exactly every day, right exactly right but when she said yes when he, when you asked the question i'm like this is going to be very interesting like maybe slam dunk the phone down and say you know um i'm looking for a serious job but when she said yes um th that's really kind of a uh underlying desire that you know she's interested you know and, and of course you know more hours uh you know as the probation period goes on but my experience has been that many times they disappear without telling you you know they get a better job offer and whatnot so yeah. what you see on the front end isn't necessarily what it's going to be like two months or three months into this you know it's all about performance and accountability and on upwork they actually have, if you hire them within Upwork and you don't pay them on the side, which at most times they'll want you to Western Union the money or Venmo or PayPal or whatever. Um, but if you hire them and get paid, I think Upwork takes 30%. Uh, you can actually get screenshots of what they're doing. And so it's harder for them to disappear on you. And, you know, they're really working four jobs, uh, one for you and, you know, three for others. So. Really, the only way you're going to tell is to give it a try. But do you use yeah. up? Do you go through the Upwork platform when you pay them and you get the screenshots? Yeah. I, I recommend that. Yeah, I recommend you you um, at least for the, until you're very comfortable with this person and they're very successful with you, then you can maybe then move them off Upwork and pay them through PayPal or something like that. That will make them more money. That'll be an instant twenty or thirty percent raise or whatever it is um, that whatever Upwork keeps from them. So that's why they want. To come off of Upwork because they'll make more money. They don't have to share it with Upwork. Um, it is a great point that you make, though, that everybody puts their best foot forward in the interview. If you do use Upwork, Upwork does have a time management system like he's talking about. Rob is exactly right. And it will take snapshots of their screen during that time that they're supposed to be working. Okay. And you can check in and see if they're on some other website or if they're doing whatever. Um, of course, results are going to be what they are in this particular business uh, with this particular task. Um, if they're not making the calls to the leads, it's going to be pretty obvious right away. So you're going to want to get rid of them and hire a new one, just like Rob is talking about. So um, you want to do your best that you can to vet them in an interview, maybe get a couple references and then try them. Okay. Don't marry them. Try them. That's why I always do the, the probation period. 
and and I, and I only asked for an hour. Of course, that's you're right about that too. If I could offer more, it would make it better. Um, however, you know, she was willing to say yes to that. We'll see. I, I believe her. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, be ready to create a system in your business using some of the advice I've given you, maybe some of the tools I've given you. Create a system where the virtual assistant is only a player. Okay. So in other words, if I have to get rid of Tashana in a week, I can replace her within a day or two. Okay. Not a hard, not a hard task. And it's easy for me to do because I have my script. I have my interview questions, my job posting template. I have, you know, I have all these tools. It's real simple for me to go on there and just replace Tashana. Okay. All right. Plus I'm going to interview, let's say five. Okay. Instead, we're only interviewing two today because of time. And, but we really want to interview about five. Okay. Maybe 10. It's like shopping for car insurance. You know, you want to call five or 10 places and get a quote <laughs> and then pick the best one. So <clears throat> same way here. All right. Interview, not just one or two, interview five, and then be prepared to redo this again. If it's not a work, if it's not a workable uh, virtual assistant, does, does that make sense? That's, that's my advice on that. Rob's Rob's right about all that. Yeah. I would also want to see camera on scheduled. I, I was disappointed with that too. Uh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. But, you know, at some point, I mean, it's streaming Zoom or Skype. I mean, that's the next best thing is sitting next to somebody in an office. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I agree. Um, but Justin, this, did you ask her to, because um, I came in when you guys already were still kind of asking her questions, but did you ask her to come on camera? Because I heard something about a baby. Yeah, I, I asked her if she wanted to come on camera, and she said that she, it was it was kind of an inconvenient time for her because she was uh, actively holding the baby or something. I don't know. It, it, it was probably a little nerve wracking to to be in a room with fourteen other people. Other people, yeah. Um, when she and it was live streaming too, so yeah. she doesn't know us. You know, I, I, I'm going to give her a little leash on that today, but I, I normally want camera on and I asked her to, but she, she declined. So that, that was one strike. That's for sure. Yeah. Any, any other comments about Tashana? I, I'm not married to her. We can talk bad about her or we can talk good about her. It's up to y'all. Well, why are you, I'm just curious. Um, is, is Skype. Skype was the 800 pound gorilla in video conferencing before Zoom came along. And right now you're using Zoom. What, what what's yeah, that's um so true. Yeah. are you are you are you yeah we talked using, about yeah we, we talked about skype? that in, uh i do sometimes use skype um uh, i have a skype account with a local number and virtual assistants do have access to that um i've used vumber.com um uh, currently i just use google hangouts because my guys have been with me for a long time okay so not, with with but, zoom you can't create uh virtual phone numbers and stuff i've i was told last week that zoom offers phone now as well so okay. that that you know whatever suits you all is uh, is really whatever suits your business, any of those options can or, or could work. And there's no need for like a mojo dialer because you're not no. like power dialing? No, no, no power dialing. Just that would be if I were hiring a virtual assistant that wanted to do cold calling. Mm -hmm. um, this is just calling my, my, my texted leads that say yes um, or something close to it. And yeah. then just asking some, some informational questions, you know. So it's, it's really, uh, you know, it's a handful of phone calls a day, you know, and it'll take them an hour as a solopreneur really if i want to add more responsibility to this virtual assistant later I'm, I'm probably going to add the lead gen aspect of it hey you can start creating these leads yourself let me teach you how um maybe even i feel so comfortable with this virtual assistant that i'll say hey would you like to do some ad posting you know start posting some ads maybe increase your time that way lots that we can do with virtual assistants but the but the important part that i hope everybody takes away is that it's important to be organized a bit before you get going because you don't want to you don't want to learn to drive you know, uh, when you've got to get going somewhere real fast, you know, that's, that's not how it works. You get, get it all set up and then, you know, then get in the car. You know? Do you think <laughs> this, this position takes a, a, uh, more advanced skill set than a cold caller that's calling, you know, some maybe, um, prop stream lead, like, uh, a list like vacants or something. Uh, that's a great, that's a great point. Great idea too. The same virtual assistant that I'm talking to right now, if I wanted to also increase our responsibilities to, from calling just my texted leads to, hey, I also have 10,000 records from PropStream I've skipped traced in my local market and I have Mojo Dollar. And so the second hour, I want you to sit on the dollar. That, that's perfectly fine. Um, it's the same. It's the same thing. She would be fine at both. If she's good at if she's good at the one, she'll be good at the other. 
in my opinion. It's about Except the same. there's the rejection factor, right? Cold calling yeah. somebody that's not expecting your call. Yeah. Sometimes they talk dirty about your mother. Yeah. And you guys heard me tell that lady that um, her job will be to use the script and it's not sales and whether the, the, the prospect that you called said yes or no or whatever, it, you did your job. Um, so I want to keep that mentality with them. Okay. So you're not to close these. You're not supposed to feel beat up or down about your uh, your performance if they all were no today or just they were mean today, whatever it was. That's that's great. That's your job, you know. So um, hang in there with me, you know, and let's build this together. I did not talk about a bonus. Did you guys notice that? I did not bring up a bonus. She's asking for $8 an hour. I offered her $10 an hour flat. I was prepared to do that anyway. That's 50 bucks a week. Well, 50 bucks a week, but uh, times 40, that's a lot of money for a VA uh, outside well, yeah, the US. That's, that's true. That's true. So I'm definitely going to want to close some deals or a deal before I start increasing, you know, increasing my VA expenses and hours and responsibilities. Oh, that's so true. So true. Any, any, any other points or comments or questions about her or, or the process or anything? All of this is fluid. You know, I, I share with you from my experiences, but, you know, your experiences will be unique to you as well. And so, um, you know, it's never going to be identical. Uh, you're going to have different people, different things maybe you want them to do. Um, hopefully, hopefully you're gathering enough from this to be able to kind of put it together for yourself. Yeah. I didn't hear eight, what you eight, said, Lamar. No, I was going to say that, um, you know, eight, eight dollars an hour and. And Jamaican currency is pretty good money. It's like one white dollars is like forty or fifty. It might even be more now. I had to check the currency rate, but it's yeah. That's yeah, why it was she a was, lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. To right. One, yeah, fifty to yeah, one, fifty to one, something like that. So that's and why tourism she, is getting whacked in Jamaica. Yes, we're absolutely with the pandemic and everything. Yeah, so so th I think that's why Justin she was even you know was like okay yeah I definitely do the trial because if you're promising me more and and the fact that you offered her. A couple more dollars oh, than yeah. she initially asked for. Yeah. You know, she's she's going to be like, oh yeah, of course. So yeah, not but, long, uh, not long ago, um, Amazon used to have a call center there, and you know that's okay. great yes, experience for people to uh, take phone calls and talk to people in the states. And it wasn't an outbound effort; it was an inbound effort for like customer mm -hmm. service. And I'm kind of surprised there's not a number of people putting that on their resume. Yeah, that's a good point. V Vista Print is big over there as well. I've used them in the past and had a you know deal with customer service over there too. So, yeah, that's a great point. It's a great point. So, I thought we did. I, th I thought you did decent. I mean, you put on the spot. Like yeah. I said, I, I do yeah. agree. She was nervous. Yeah. She's seeing all these people. Yeah. She probably just expecting yeah. one person. <laughs> yeah. I would be too. Yeah, right? Like, I would, I would be like, too. Holy yeah. shit, what's going on here? Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, yeah. I, I thought she did okay. I she yeah, did I'd be nervous. I'd be nervous. Like I'd be nervous as hell too. <clears throat> well, you handled it well, Justin, because it didn't yes, get did. creepy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I tried to, uh, you, normally, guys, I was going to say, you know, normally I'm a little more uh, business. You see, it was only 10 minutes we talked to her, too, even with your questions. Um, all business, no jovial, less smiling. Okay, all of that's important, too. I, did, I didn't I did really do that with her because she, I was like, man, this, she's got to be nervous as hell being in here with 14 people. And <laughs> I don't know. I would have been. I, I, so I felt, I felt for a little different setting here than what she was expecting. I get that. We, for the next person, we can all turn off our screens, you know, so it won't be as creepy. Well, the next person's waiting to get into the room. You guys want to talk to Jan? Come Michael? on down. Yeah, on camera, though. We need to see them. Let's talk, let's, can. Let's, let's talk to Jan Michael. Mm -hmm. Let me share this. Uh, Jan Michael, Portmore, Jamaica. It's one fifty-seven local time, whatever. So it's not very far. I don't know. Is that Eastern time? Uh, are they it's Eastern, all time? Eastern time? Jamaica, yeah. it's yeah. all Eastern yeah. time. Oh, okay. it's, Eastern it's time, the same yeah. time right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This guy's asking twelve bucks an hour. Let's see what he's I wonder if that's local is. currency or U.S. <laughs> no, that's yeah. U.S. It'll he's asking US. for that much. He better be on camera. Okay, he did this though. Customer service for six bucks an hour. Uh, available more than thirty hours a week. Fluent English. Went to college. Got a B.S. degree. Me too, bro. But different kind. Um, all right, employment history. I, I, it doesn't look like this guy's had any. He's he's brand new here, or very very pretty new. Now, I don't see any. Real he doesn't history. have a cumulative earnings. Nope, nope, nope. So this is a this is a questionable experience right here, Mr. Jan Michael, Mr. Jan Michael. So we'll see, we'll see. Let me get my interview questions pulled back up here. Okay. Could be that he's done all the deals uh, off of uh, Upwork's platform. Could be. 
let me say real quick I've done virtual assistants through agencies as well va4rei.com the number four va4rei.com is that Brett Daniels's group I don't think so I don't okay. think so if it is I'm, I'm unaware I've I've been familiar with them used them for off and on for many years and uh, an agency is not a bad way to go either okay so that's a that's an alternative so, so like I said this whole virtual assistant thing is much like the rest of real estate very fluid you know you can do a lot of different things different ways all right so if you want somebody to help you with the process va4rei.com is not a bad place to go and it also uh, you'll find their phone callers charge about seven dollars an hour okay maybe a little more that's okay, what so. the agency gets then the callers get half of that or a little bit more yeah. So and then sometimes they don't there. pay their people. Then they get. Then they leave. And um, there's certainly some pluses and minuses going through an agency. Yeah, I had good experiences with this one though. They they seem to manage the situation pretty good. Let me let this gentleman in here. He's waiting. It's the, have a hard time. Uh, you got to hit that unmute button there. There you go. Here hey, go. Jan Michael. What's going on? Hey, good to see you, man. Being here. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing wonderful, good. wonderful. All right, sorry about that. Just had a little technical difficulty setting up the whole mic. That's sorry right. about that. How's beautiful Jamaica today? You got that from the accent already. <laughs> <laughs> Do you drink rum? <laughs> Not while I'm working. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Hey, we're a group of real estate investors, and we uh, we have a pretty large group here, and we're looking for a virtual assistant that can make uh, some calls to some of our leads. We get a lot of leads, Jan Michael. And yeah. uh, we need somebody that can call them and do a read a script and ask a few questions. It's not a sales position. It's just a just a fact finding mission. And uh, if they're if they're nice, if they're naughty, either way, you did your job. You know, yeah. sounds uh, awesome. Okay, so that's interesting to you. Definitely. Well, tell me a little bit about your job experience. Do you have any experience like that, or what experience do you have? Well, I've been in the um, call center industry for about seven years, done various customer service related um, tasks, worked with Amazon, worked with AT&T customer service. So I've been in the market, been around um, yeah, a lot of years of experience. So I know how to relate to customers. I know how to deal with persons when they get irate. I know how to calm a call down. Uh, general interactions with customers, I'm really good with it. Okay. All right. Well, how many hours a day do you have to work? Well... I'm pretty available at the moment. My schedule is really open, but it all depends on how much you have to offer. Okay, that's a good. That's that's good. Um, so, what happened? What happened to the other jobs that you were working, man? All right, so I am currently doing a remote job. It is part time. It's just about um, twenty hours per week. It's in a supervisory um, capacity in which I do reports, ensure that the team is running smoothly, and have that updated. Okay. All right. What what kind of hours of uh, during the day is that that job? That job. All right. So I have to open in the morning. So I've basically the first shift starts four a.m. PST. So I open with them. Good thing about that. That's just seven a.m. my time. So it's not too far off. So I open to about two hours, and then I close the day when um, everything has wrapped up. Closing is six p.m. PST. Okay. Okay. All right. And so you're 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 not really obligated during that middle of that time not at all okay all right it, would you have any any good job references if we ask for those references meaning with upwork or in anyone any, any job any job references anybody Definitely. anybody tell a good story about jan michael i've never been fired from a job well that's a good story a good i've story. never been fired from a job so i know i can go back to anywhere that i've worked before and they'll take me on in an instant so okay all right um if I wanted the work done before 11 a.m. Eastern time, um, would that be something that you could do, let's say, between, uh, you know, sometime in the morning or or maybe not? How much hours? Uh, well, we'd, we'd like to start out small. And <laughs> yeah, we'd like to we'd like to do a probation period. Uh, start out small. Let, give you a chance to see if you like it. If you're good at it, uh, give us a chance to see if we like you, too. And um, Understood. Could, could we do a probation period for maybe do it, just do an hour a day for the first couple of weeks, maybe a month, and then we could up your responsibilities from there? Not a problem. So that would be from 10 a.m. to 11? Yes, sir. Is that right. possible? That is good. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Let's see here. What's What kind of pay are you expecting? All right. So you did um, put a pay range on the system. Yes, sir. Um, I placed 12 dollars twelve dollars an hour. Okay. $12 an hour. I was hoping you would do business with me for 10 and then after the 30 day probation period, we could increase. Is that, is that something we could talk about? 10, 
you are a negotiator. Yes. Just, <laughs> I like that you just slip that one in. But all right, ten dollars an hour. Okay. Okay. All right. For the good. month probation, and then we can discuss yes, opening. Yep, I like that plan. Okay. So, so is it a possibility that we can go above the twelve? It's possible. Okay. It's or possible. it's or it's possible that we could even tie in some type of bonus system um, where you make larger sums uh, when we're successful. Maybe we can even talk about doing both of those. All right, that sounds yeah. great. Well, um, so uh, you are open to more responsibilities and more hours. How many hours would you be open to? All right, so you said it's a part time thing, so another four hours per day would be good. But all depends. If the pay is great, um, I would have to um, move away from what I'm doing. I just need two weeks to give proper notice before I can actually leave the job that I'm currently doing. Okay, I would so, just want to leave them hanging. I understand, and we don't want to. We don't want you to drop ship, you know, or drop them um, mm -hmm. until you're confident and comfortable with us, too. You know what I mean? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Um, does anybody else here in the company have questions? Anybody here with us? Uh, internet reliability. Okay. And uh, blackout, um, I mean, we're, what are those, uh, what, what does the internet speeds look like in dependability of the internet service? All right. Unless I have a hurricane passing, I am pretty dependable. I am working on a laptop. So there's two different internet service providers that um, operate within the area. I can always um, move over. My internet speed bottoms out at about 20 megabytes per second and it tops at about 45. If I do a quick speed check now, let me see where I'm actually running right now. Are, are you outside of Kingston? I'm actually in Portmore. It's the neighboring parish. So right beside it. All right. So right now, all right, let me just... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We were uh, discussing beforehand, what's the exchange rate nowadays with US to JAW? The JA... It's actually, well, when I'm going to be converting, I will get um, $148 per, $148 Jamaican dollars per one US. Wow. If I'm actually trying to bite in the bank, I would have to pay $158. Wow. You know, they make a profit off us. Yeah, it's really running away. Yeah, the last time I was there was 40 to 1. Wow. That was back in about 2006. Maybe before that. <laughs> There we go. There we go. That's when I was there, 2006. Yeah, about fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Jan, Michael, I have a a request here. Um, one thing you'll have to do is leave voicemails for us. Okay. I know you you've never seen this in your life, and I don't expect you to do it perfectly. But would you would you just let us listen to your beautiful voice? And would you would you just read this script for voicemails? When you leave a voicemail, this is what we'd like you to say. Would, could you just read that out loud for me? Yeah, not a problem. Hi, my name is Michael. We saw your host for sale on the internet. Address, okay. put the address in naturally. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are interested in buying a home in the area and wanted to see if you would consider an offer on your property today. I completely understand if you have sold it already, but if you would give me a call back, either way, that that way I would need. Hold on, let me just go over that one for you. You're All okay. Right? You're okay. <laughs> You're doing fine. You, you've, right. you've never seen it before, so it's okay. I completely understand if you have already sold, but you would give me a call back either way that I, I don't keep bugging you. Ah, oh, okay. Again, my name is Michael. Number is, provide the number. Hope to talk to you because we'd like to make you an offer today. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Jan Michael. Appreciate it. I can that. actually do that smoother. I know you yeah. can. I know you can. And I, I believe me, I know that. And that you've never even read that before, never seen it. You did pretty good. Okay. So <laughs> no, I'm not happy with me, but <laughs> you did fine. Don't beat yourself up. Anybody else uh, have any questions or comments? Anybody? Uh, question would be, has most of your phone skills be uh, incoming or outgoing? 90% is incoming. But okay. I have outgoing, but not a lot. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, um, if no other questions. Okay. Well, uh, Michael, what we'll do is uh, we, we'll talk about it here real quick and uh, I'll let you know later on today on Upwork what our decision is. Is that okay? All right. That would be good. I hope it's positive for me. Yes. Seems like Thank a fun team to work with. You seem like a nice guy, man. A really okay. easy guy to get along with too. I appreciate your time today, Michael. Thank All you. Right. You, you have a good here. day. You too. All right. Enjoy it, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. That was interview number two. You can see much, much different than interview number one. Much, much different. I definitely did not hear 
the the thick Jamaican accent in Tashana, but I definitely picked it up when he read the voicemail for sure. Uh, I suspect Michael. Tashana spent some time in the states. Yeah, so like she had like almost no accent. Yes, he was great. So we might disqualify Michael because of that. We in favor of Tashana, maybe. What we need to interview three more to really get a good feel for this, okay? And kind of kind of get a, a nice and plus, you know, if we interview five, we, we might have Tashana start, and then we might have a backup in place if she doesn't work out in the first week or two, okay? Uh, that that's all good planning. Um, any comments or questions about Michael or about the process or about the interview that we just did? Anything? I got a question, Justin. Is yeah, it, Is it like? I mean, I don't know, this might sound crazy, but is all accents bad? No, it's not bad. But at the no. same time, too, though, if you're talking to the American sellers and stuff like that, because, you know, even when we call people, a lot of times they accuse us of having of being scamming. Yeah, right? Right. So, right. you don't have a good so, voice. Right. And we're, exactly. Correct. We're, we, we don't have that. So imagine if you hear it from somebody who is extremely, I mean, that's very, 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 very thick. And I have a lot of, you know, Jamaican um, people that, you know, that are friends and stuff like that, too, where some of them are able to, they can still have the accent, but when they're in a certain setting, they can actually, there's, they can turn it off. Yeah. yeah, they can turn it off. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful, but you got to think about business, you know? Sure. So for that, I would have to say, yeah, definitely more, you know, Tashana than, than Michael, yeah. Yeah. at right. least, you know, for this yeah. one here. I, agree. I have an I accent, too. I have, an, I'm African. I have an accent, but yeah. Yeah, there, yeah. What you There's say, a way where you can actually start your presentation or your script that builds that and removes that credibility factor, such as we have a team, you know, drove by your house, I have a team, you know, in Forest Lake, you know, Michigan. They, they wanted me to call you because, you know, they saw your house. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. But there's a way that you can put an extra sentence in there so it, it kind of um, neutralizes an accent because people from the Philippines, damn few of them sound like, you know, someone that you would call, you know, a fluent English. Yes, that's but why there's a way to build that in there that it kind of neutralizes it. Like, so lets them know that you're local. Yeah, that's a good point. Too. Good personally, point. I think the, the uh, jo uh, John Michael, was it? John Michael? Jan, Jan Michael. Jan Michael. Michael. He seemed more like a savvy, more comfortable um, business guy, you know? Yeah. I'm not sold on either one of them just yet. I, I, I still need to interview about three more. To <laughs> yeah. Both of them have some positives. Both of them have some negatives. I like Jan Michael. I'll tell you what, if, since we're talking about accents, I, I do agree with Sandra. I couldn't hear what Verna had to add about that. Verna, if you want to. Like we have two virtual assistants and their accents are not, not the best, but one can talk for one, and then they can put them in contact with the other. I don't know if I explained that correctly. You know what I mean? Yeah. They can work together, but some can do what others can do exactly. They'll work good together. You know what I mean by that? Yep, yep, yep. So that's how ours is. Yep. Some better at things. One can help lead the other, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. He do sound better on the phone, but she'd probably be better to get in contact at first than she pushed the seller over to him and something like that. Yeah. I, I have had. He does sound like one of the um, bill collectors on my phone. I'm not going to lie to you. At first, <laughs> I swear he does. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, um, both have potential. Both are willing to work for the hour. Both are willing to work for ten dollars an hour. Um, no bonuses have been talked about, been instituted. Um, we might try interviewing some Canadians, or we might try to interview some Mexicans, or maybe some United States citizens. Um, any of those might be further interviews that we want to do. Okay. Um, I don't know. My experience has been, and please, this is not any kind of statement at all, other than my experience has been, it's more successful. The calling is more yeah. successful when you have um, no accent and it's a man. Interesting. So I'm not, I'm not saying females cannot do the job. I'm just saying they get more bullshit. They catch more flack. Okay. Mm. That's just the facts. Okay. I've had female employees that worked in office here with me locally that got off the phone in tears and angry because this person told him, well, I don't talk to women about money or business. So you're going to have to have your boss or somebody call me. 
Okay. That happens. Has any females ever experienced that in this room? Yes. Me okay. and Lashonda talk about that okay. all the time. Yeah. We, go, we go through that as it is anyways without even being assistants. But yes, yeah. a mm -hmm. lot of the text messages, you know, they know that it's a female and they send dick pics. They send the like, crazy stuff because, you know, they know that it's a female and all that. Yeah, they're Damn, just crazy. crazy. Yeah, they wild, you should start man. a website with they wild. Mm -hmm. all that content you get for free. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't right. have people say stuff to me like like racist stuff to me and they had no idea who the hell I was. This was text. So how in the hell are you being racist through the text message? You don't know what I look like. And right. Through text messages. So yeah, these yeah. people are crazy out here. Yeah. Just, you know, you just keep going. Don't let it bother you. Keep going. Yeah. So you're going to want, if you can, you're, you're going to want to favor the non-accent male caller, if you can, um, if you're hiring one. And you're going to want somebody with a little thick skin. Thick skin, yeah. A little thick skin. Got to. Okay. Gotcha. I'm just here to do my job and I'm going to do it well for the next hour and then I'm done. I don't care what they say. My boss is happy with me. That's fine. He says I did my job. Good. Okay. I'm not going to let it emotionally wreck me today. Okay. Don't hey, want um, that. Justin, um, yeah. you said you weren't really happy with either one of one of them um, and, you know, for your own reasons, but what else would you be looking for? Like what, what did, obviously you just mentioned the fact that the accent has not been something that has worked out statistically in, 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 in your favor. Um, uh, male obviously works out statistically better off also in our favor, but maybe some other things that you, um, you know, through your experience find that are beneficial. You're muted. Yeah. Um, I don't favor Tashana for the fact that she was not brave. She was yeah, brave, she but not, confident. not yeah. too brave. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about her thick skin or her stick to because of that. I, I need some tenacity. Now, I feel like Jan Michael had that, but his accent was very thick. So not 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 disqualifying either one. I'm just saying I'm not sold just yet. Now, I do want to interview this guy, and I, we don't have time to do it, but uh, from Little London, Jamaica, okay? This guy here is charging $12 an hour, um, but he has uh, – oh, wait a minute. This wasn't the right guy. There's another fellow. I, I pulled up the wrong guy. And he has his job skills. He's asking 12 bucks an hour, and his job skills and job history is just phenomenal. I mean, this guy looks good. And I'm going to try to get him on and interview him before I decide. Okay. Kind of like shopping for car insurance. You know, I'm waiting on that final quote, you know, from this last company before I pick. And we'll see. You know, I, you're not going to remember, you're looking for somebody 80% as good as you, you know? So is Tashana 80% as good as me? Can she be? So can I ask a silly question when you're done there? Yeah, no, no silly questions here, man. Go for it. So 12 bucks an hour. <laughs> yeah. I mean, He's like a millionaire is in that Jamaica. Where, is that where we're at in, in, in hiring virtual assistants? I mean, you can't no. get anybody in the States that'll work for $12 an hour? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering, man. Exactly. That seems like yeah. a lot of money, especially 150 to yeah. one right. in this right. particular yeah. country. Yep. Because in PH, yeah. it can still be... Like you mentioned, the agency seven, they typically are only giving half of that to the actual VA. And for $5 yep. an hour, the problem is as soon as they find somebody who'll pay them six, they disappear. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I, I like the $10 an hour um, for, vir for virtual assistance from the Western Hemisphere. Like he's saying, yeah, you could probably find a great Canadian. You could probably find a great United States citizen right now. Um so don't sell yourself short on on this. It could be someone else that's that you haven't talked to yet. Um, but yeah, and, it's a and, lot of and money. The problem here, uh, I'm in Georgia, and you know restaurants are going out of business. And I'm talking about national chains that can't find anybody that wants to work for fifteen dollars an hour. So yes, I get it that you got to go outside the country to find people. But I'm I'm kind of if you're if you're paying them for two hours a day, I twelve bucks is fine. But yeah, 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 know, yeah. 40 so, yeah. hours is, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm only offering certain... an hour a day, you know, and uh, so, you know, 50 bucks a week is not a lot of money for me. Uh, right. But um, I know I could get a virtual assistant for three fifty five dollars an hour. But like you know, like you were saying, as soon as they get six bucks an hour from somebody else, they're out because that's another forty five dollars in their money. I, I get that. You know, I get that. So, you know, you may you may go in cheaper. I could have tried cheaper with these guys. Tashana was only asking eight. I could have locked her in at eight. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I just went I just went for 10 because I've been talking 10 this whole this whole time. And this is just a kind of a fluffy demo interview. 
Um, but you can see the 12 guy, John, John Jan Michael was 12. He came down to 10 real easy. Okay. So I probably could have got, I probably could have got Tashana down to six. Okay. But then, yeah. but then Rob say, Rob is saying, well, but as soon as somebody offers her six fifty, she's out, which is the next guy. Mm. Well, not, <laughs> you know? not, not, yeah, not, not only Jan came down, but he was willing to leave his job. Right? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Able to be cool. He's like, let's, then he was like, hold up. We ain't saying don't leave yet. Yeah. This is a trial situation, but that's so, a great point. I mean, so whereas Tashana was nervous about the group of people here, Jan saw dollar signs. He was like, oh, wow, there's a yeah, bunch yeah. of strength here in this room. We can probably get a bunch of stuff. I quit, I quit my job and work for these guys. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, there's some, there's some aggressiveness there in Jan. I, I, I like it, you know. So, we're going to have to decide. I'll interview in your own business, interview three or four more, interview five. And then kind of think it through. And if you want to talk it over, we can. But, you know, pick somebody. you got to start with somebody. And they're not going to be perfect. If they're 80%, if you think they can be 80% you, then let's do it. Let's give them a shot. Um, Justin, can I, can I jump in here real quick? Please do, sir. Um, you guys, when, when you're hiring somebody, you make sure that before you, you pull the trigger on that, that you have walked through everything that you want them to do for the time that they're working for you. Because if you jump on somebody, you think, OK, uh, four hours and, you know, you're trying to figure out ways for them to fill in four hours. Believe me, they'll figure out ways to fill in that four hours for you with a bunch of wasted effort or, or time or energy. Right. True. True. So make sure that you have a plan. Make sure that you have a monitoring system that allows you to monitor their activity, especially in the beginning. Once once they're in, maybe you don't have to do it so much. But in the beginning, there's an expectation that, look, I expect you to be working. And I will be monitoring your work and I will base it based on results. Ask me how I know this, right? Yeah, a lot of money wasted on, on you know, and yeah. part of it was myself not being prepared and not knowing yeah. exactly what eight, four hours worth of work needed to be, That's what right, the assignment yeah. was, what the responsibilities yep. were, what the expectations was for me to get back in return. And if you don't know that, then you should monitor yourself for a day's worth of your four hour activity. Monitor and log. And oh, Lord. You will, kind of, you will kind of get a sense <laughs> of what, what you say? Four hours of my work activity. <laughs> Looks like a bag of Cheetos, a Mountain Dew. Right. Uh, okay, you might have to put four days in and combine it into four hours. <laughs> uh, but but you, I think you guys get the point, though, because you'll find yourself spending a whole lot of money or, or worse yet, if you don't have it clearly defined, you're going to be spending the time that you thought you were going to save managing that person, yeah. having them ask you what to do next, having them, you know, go, you know, want specific instructions, being afraid to pull the trigger on shit. Oh my God, that's the one way that you, this, this all kind of goes sideways and it does it really quick. So this part of the interview is, it, is absolutely essential, but you have a job to do here too and getting prepared to make sure that you give somebody an assignment that is going to pay off, especially like Rob was saying, you start, you start paying $10, $12 an hour. You better get $10, $12 an hour back at work. Yeah. And that's going to be up to you, not them. It's a great, a kind of a great uh, wrap up of everything we've talked about in the last few weeks. Preparation, knowing crystal clear instructions, exactly what you want for this hour. Then if you know that, you can plug this VA in and unplug them and plug another one in and unplug them and plug another one in if you have to, whatever, because your system is in place. You mm -hmm. only need an operator. It's like you have a factory, you have a factory machine in that factory. You, you don't much care who the, the, the numbnut is that, that pushes the little, and I, this used to be me, pushes the little bushing down into the, the <laughs> I stood in one place and just push this bushing down all day. Yeah. They didn't care if it was me or somebody else. Now it's a robot, you know? This virtual assistant is your robot. This is what they're going to do every day at this time. And they know it exactly. And you can manage that now. Okay. Very, 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 very good. What coach Victor was saying. Um, okay. I'll add all this stuff to the course today or early in the morning. And um, I've got some family things going on. That's, you know, kind of got me all busy away from work. And uh, I'm, I'm going to get to it today. I'm going to get the, that, that stuff on the course today. So if you're, if you're looking for any of these references or any of these documents I showed you today, they'll be on the course by tomorrow. All right. Um, hopefully you've gotten something good out of this. This has been a whole month of outsourcing. Uh, we're going to wrap it up now and go into something different next week, probably how to buy a house to move into, rent to own yourself. Okay. I'm going to talk about that a little bit and some of the deets. Step-by-step -step stuff next week. Okay. Any, any other questions on outsourcing or anything before we call it a, a day on that? All right. Anybody gonna anybody uh, learn anything? What'd you learn today? Definitely. Anything? Definitely. Okay. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't feel quite so nervous when it comes to interviewing virtual assistants because you see it's pretty harmless.